ARK Invest just released their Big Ideas 2022 report for January 25th, 2022. And I just ran through and annotated some of the slides relating to artificial intelligence so that we can talk about Palantir and ARK Invest's research supporting it. So here we have just an introductory slide talking about the risks of investing in innovation. Those being the rapid pace of change, exposure across sectors and uncertainty and unknowns along with regulatory hurdles, political and legal pressure and a competitive landscape overall. So 2022, they are saying, is the year of change and convergence. They highlight when has investing not been about the future. So here we are just looking at one piece of their big report, just 15 slides today, artificial intelligence. You can find the rest of this at ARK Invest's website. But here we have the idea that technologies are converging. They say that ARK Invest believes five innovation platforms are evolving and converging at the same time. Artificial intelligence, robotics, energy storage, DNA sequencing, and blockchain technology. So what does that sound like to you? Aside from the artificial intelligence, we know Palantir is working with a robotics company. They've got ideas for energy. They're working in the biology field as well with SPACs there and blockchain technology. They just launched Foundry for Crypto, and they have a blockchain company in the Foundry for Builders program. So what it sounds like to me is their AI, along with these investments in these technology companies is really coming into what Palantir talks about, the converging of technology. If you look on the right here, all of these all of these rapid innovations happening at the same time, and that is Palantir's platform is the backbone of these technologies, or some of them at least. And they talk about 14 informative technology and transformative technologies. Ooh, got to be a little careful with my reading here. So in terms of how they expect the breakdown in returns from 2020 to 2030, now this is very interesting because we I don't think we've seen this before from ARK Invest, how they're expecting the weighting. They talked about how they're expecting a approximately 40% compound annual growth rate of their flagship ARK Invest or ARKK fund, but they haven't talked about the breakdown. So here we see 26, 35, 43, 51, 40. So if we just take Palantir's industry here of artificial intelligence for software, they're expecting a 26% a compound annual growth rate, which from the current price today takes Palantir to an all-time high in that five-year period that they talk about. Now there are extenuating market market circumstances right now that, that are holding the market and Palantir as an individual stock. So there's a possibility that ARK Invest is expecting an all-time high from Palantir in a much shorter time period. But just if you look at that 26 number, it's within the next five years from their research and their expectations. So this disruptive innovation, just the holistic view is 14 trillion in market cap to their estimate of 210 trillion in market cap. And AI innovation could increase nearly tenfold to more than 100 trillion. They talk about mobile connected devices. That's something that Palantir is working a lot with. You can just reference Weijo as an example of that. Cloud computing, which is very interesting, but they don't get into the edge, the idea of edge AI or edge computing, which Palantir is pushing forward there. But here's the AI piece. Seemingly impossible problems can be solved by software and other computational systems that learn and change by integrating new data. These, these evolving systems should transform work and accelerate computational technologies integration into all economic sectors. The adoption of learning systems could prove more momentous than the introduction of the internet transforming all economic sectors, including healthcare and financial services. So one more time, the convergence across all technologies amplifying each, each one's individual potential. And here we have just a visual there of the converging technologies. Now on to the specifics of artificial intelligence, enabling humans to become superhuman. That's really what Palantir is all about, enabling the connection of humans with technology and not replacing the humans with technology, especially in the workforce. So moving along here, AI could automate the tasks of knowledge workers and boost productivity. AI will increase the output of knowledge workers by 140%. So talk about an increase in productivity or success, efficacy, whatever you want to call it. Here we have some estimates and predictions on how 
a multiplier for how much more successful the output of AI-assisted knowledge workers would be. Productivity multiplier, it looks like they say down here. Very interesting. AI could accelerate productivity gains. Artificial intelligence is likely to boost the output of global knowledge workers by 9% at an annual rate from 41 trillion in expected human labor output to roughly 97 trillion in AI plus human output. And this is really back to the idea of Palantir. They talk about it being on the front lines. When an organization adopts Foundry, anyone can use it and become so much more useful themselves, even if they do not have technical expertise, they can use it in boost productivity of themselves, but also their findings and learnings extend across the organization. So organizations will increase spending on enterprise software because of this idea by 42% at an annual rate to $14 trillion a year. If automation boosts productivity by 140%, as we saw in the previous slide, AI software could increase the output of global knowledge workers at an annual rate of 9% to $97 trillion in 2030. So this was the 2021 enterprise software spend. And then we have the 2030 AI software spend, the idea there. That's a 42% compound annual growth rate, which is just outside the range at which Palantir's expecting their guidance to be. They're saying they expect greater than 30% guidance. And if that basically that means 35% or so in that range, just to be conservative, and they're saying 35%. If they're able to catch on to this trend and it extends much farther, they could see a compound annual growth rate in the 40s, which is my bull case for the company. And here's contrast of the labor output increase from AI software. And that really is, I drew this not so well, but that is the alpha there. This is the spend, that's how much the companies, the enterprises are spending, and this is their labor output increase. That delta right there is huge. That is why companies can get away with charging so much for their products because they're delivering so much value. So it's all about how much value can Palantir provide? Can they be the best at generating the alpha? That is the number one priority. AI software should boost demand for AI hardware. Now, this is very interesting. So obviously, software is so, so much cheaper to deploy than hardware because it's basically a zero marginal cost to deploy the software. Palantir is a bit of a different case because they actually send their four deployed engineers out to customize the Foundry product initially. But if you're just talking about software as a service without a setup, or if you exclude the setup, there's zero marginal cost pretty much other than any operational costs. We know that software is much cheaper than hardware, but what ARK Invest is predicting here is that the rise in software is actually going to necessitate hardware demand or supply, I should say. Now, something I would tie in here is Palantir's idea of Edge AI. And Edge AI is a software solution, a software idea, something that Palantir is investing heavily in. And the backbone of that is the hardware, is the sensors, it's the compute power, it's the energy efficiency, it's the chips, it's the batteries, it's all of that, which is hardware. So I expect Palantir actually to be in a bit of a flywheel here with their software extending to the hardware coming back to their edge AI and necessi necessitating better and better hardware. And their hardware spend will be driven by AI, as ARK Invest is saying here. So second to last slide here, spending on global AI software and hardware could be more than triple the consensus expectation by 2030. So purple here is the consensus IT spend and green is the ARC consensus IT plus AI hardware software spend, which you'll see is what is that? That's five times higher of a compound annual growth rate. Just huge. And lastly here, artificial intelligence could scale from almost 2.5 trillion to 87 trillion in enterprise value by 2030. AI software companies could produce 14 trillion in annual revenue collectively. The resulting 4 trillion in free cash flow could create over 80 trillion in enterprise value, up from 2.3 trillion in 2021, generating returns of 48% at a compound annual growth rate during the next nine years. 48%, that would be huge. AI hardware companies could produce 1. Point, okay, we don't need to get into the hardware, but that's interesting if you want to see that as well. And here you have the internet compared to AI. AI as an industry is just getting started. So this is ARK Invest research. A lot of it aligns with Palantir. Palantir is one of their top holdings. So I think it's no surprise that what they're thinking about, even though they don't outright explicitly mention Palantir, is very much aligned there. So here's ARK Invest, big ideas 2022. And let me know what you think in the comments.